So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a chart with a sales versus a target, where the sales bars are into the target bars. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch a lot more of my videos. Please enjoy! So in this video we are going to create this beautiful chart which has a target and a actual sales. You see the bars for the target are a bit wider and the uh, bars for the sales are a bit narrower. There are data labels in it and you see the bar for the sales is placed into the bar of the target. So it's a bar in bar chart. And we are going to sheet 2 to create this chart. I have the same table in here. And to create the chart we just select our whole table including the headers and the first column. Go to your insert tab on the ribbon. Click the bar chart and just insert a clustered column chart. Place it in here, a little bit higher. And you can also add your data series manually by right clicking, select data, and click add to add a data series. And you see we have two bars, the blue bar for the target and the gray bar for the sales. They're placed next to each other, but we want them to be on top of each other. And for that we need to place the sales on a secondary axis. Make sure you put the sales on the secondary axis. And to place the sales on the secondary axis, just select one of the gray bars, press console 1 to open your format data series menu, go to your series options and click secondary axis. Well, we saw in the example that the target bar was a bit wider than the sales bar. And to do that, we are going to adjust the gap width. And the gap width for the sales, I'm going to adjust it to a 100. And now I'm going to select the series target. And I'm going to adjust the gap width of the target to a 30. And now you see I have a blue wider bar for the target. And the sales bar is in the target bar. And it's a bit narrower. And I said you need to place the sales bar on the secondary axis. And that's because you want the sales bar on top of the target bar. Else your sales bar will be behind the target bar. Now we need to uh, adjust a chart a little bit. We need to format it. The first thing we need to do is fix the both axis. Because we always want the primary axis and the secondary axis to have the same scale. And to do that, we can just click a primary axis, go to our axis options. The minimum is zero and the maximum is 600. I type the same numbers that are already in the boxes here. But when I type them, press enter, you see the button with auto disappears and it's a reset button. So I fixed the scale of the axis. Do the same for the secondary axis. Just click it. Type 0, press enter, the maximum, type 600, press enter, and you fixed the other axis. Well, now we are going to delete the axis, because we don't want to see them. And you can just select your axis and press your delete key on your keyboard. Same for the secondary axis, select it and press delete. I also don't want these grid lines, select it and press delete. Now I'm going to format the bars, just click one of the blue bars for the target bars and go to the fill in line and I want a solid fill with a light green color and I want a solid line with a dark green color and I want it one and a half points. Now click one of the gray bars for the sales series, I can also select the sales series with this arrow in here, series sales. And I want a solid fill with a dark green color. So this looks much more like our example. The horizontal axis, I can just select it. I want no line for the horizontal axis. And I want the horizontal axis to be dark green text. I want it bold. And I want it a little bit bigger. I want a chart title, which is furniture sales versus target I want this also dark green a little bit bigger and bold 
and I'm going to place this one in the left hand top corner. My legend, I'm going to place that in the right hand top corner. And I want that also a little bit bigger. Place it in here. Now I can just select my whole chart. I don't want a line around it. So I'm going to fill in line and I want to select no line. Close my menu. And this is much more like the chart we had in our example. The only thing we need to do is add the data labels. And for that, select your series sales, click the plus sign, and click the data labels. Now just click one of the data labels to select them all. Again, press console one to open my format data labels menu. I don't want the little lines, and the position of my labels is the inside end. I can close this window and I want my labels to be a white text. I want it bold, a little bit bigger, and I want them vertical. I want it a little bit higher. Now you see my chart is exactly like the example and this is the way you can create a bar and bar chart to uh, compare sales with the target. So that's the way how you can create this beautiful actual versus target chart. I hope you learned a lot and that you can make your own actual versus target chart for yourself. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch a lot more of my videos. Thanks for watching.